Hey everybody, this is Mr. Capcom for the Tech Messenger. And this is my uh, quick overview of um, Ice Cream Sandwich that was bought out um, a couple weeks ago um, for the Transformer Prime. Um, so we're actually running Android 4.03. And this is it right here. So this is the lock screen. You can see one thing that were added was um, the camera. So it'll go straight to the camera here. Um, right now I'm on my carpet so we can see a pretty nice zoom in of my carpet. We can see how everything kind of moves around for the camera for all the different options, different transitions. Uh, let me see how I go back. Alright. Let me go back to the camera app. Okay, so here's a little back button right here. You click that. Um, we have the video camera. Let's see what new options they added in there. Yeah, pretty much the same. We got torch mode, white balances, silly faces. I guess you can add like effects onto the videos. I'll probably try to show that later. Time lapse. So um, I know ICS has um, it can speed up the video. Uh, quality right now I have mine on full HD store locations and whatnot so we have that and the, another ICS feature is the panorama shots which seems like it brings it down to maybe like 8 megapixels I'm not totally sure and it will guide you along the way so that's pretty cool all right, so let's go ahead and look back into the unlock screen. So we see we have the ICS lock, pretty quick and fluid. Um, that's about it. One thing I did notice is that even if you turn your, um, even if you turn your panoramic mode or your um, landscape and uh, portrait mode off, it'll still do it in the lock screen for some reason. Don't know why it does that. Uh, we have a new or kind of updated version of the uh, task manager here, I guess you can call it, or the quick settings. Let's go ahead and go inside there. And we have the different wirelesses. You see the switches. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the switches are kind of different on here than before. We got data usage, which kind of doesn't really matter because we're on Wi-Fi. Airplane mode, VPN, tethering, and portable hotspot, which seems like it actually might work. Yeah, it does work. I'm going to turn my wireless back on. Sound, display, all this is pretty much the same. They do have the Asus customized settings, which was there before, but you can actually turn some of these things off, add in screenshot mode, uh, Super I IPS Plus. Um, here's the Asus quick setting. You can turn that off and use the native ICS one, but I'm gonna leave that on. Let's go ahead and go to the version. There it is, Android version 403. And let's go ahead and take a look at the widgets because I'm going to add some new widgets. We have the task manager here, which is new. We have, blah, 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 blah. I know it was at least four new widgets. I think the calendar one is new. Um, the bookmarks, I didn't notice, notice this before, but the bookmarks on ICS actually brings in your bookmarks from your Chrome uh, web browser if you use that on your computer. Um, the Google Plus did an update recently, and it seems like they got some new widgets. I believe this is a new photo gallery, I don't because this has a stack look to it. Uh, stacks is, um, I don't even know if I have anything that has stacks, but stacks is, yeah, that's right here where you can do this for the uh, different pictures or um, 
photos, or in this case, we have a uh, YouTube. Um, what else do we have? I don't think any of the other ASUS software was um, updated. Um, we do have the new transition for the app drawer. You see it comes back and forth, kind of a 3D effect. One of the cool things I noticed is that um, ICS enabled hardware acceleration on the the, um, UI, the UI or the user interface itself. So it's a lot faster. You can see kind of a lot uh, a lot smoother and quicker, no lag or anything. Um, and that's attributed to, of course, the quad core and the gig of RAM, but now ICS kind of takes more um, or utilizes more of that uh, processor. Um, I did notice a couple of my videos play a lot better inside of um, inside of ICS now. Let me go ahead and see if I can play something. Video. to swipe that away and it ended up um well before i played the video um they did add the swipe to close in here so in the tax manager and it's good that i did get it well, cleared it out but it works the same way in the notification so if you got like an email you can do this too but um you can take the uh things here the apps or anything like a notification and you can swipe them to the left or right to close them which is a nice feature. I'm gonna close all these. And I'll open up this, so. Now this is a 1080p um, anime episode that I'm watching. And it, you know, it's running off of hardware acceleration. Let me see if I can get it to come up right there. It comes up HW. So now 1080p's are, you know, hardware accelerated instead of software, which is really nice. And you can see everything's real fluid. And this is a 1080p video, real fluid, no stuttering. Kind of go back and forth with the video. And nothing. Before it ran good, but now it runs perfectly. Like I have no issues with, uh, no issues with this um, new version. I did notice the highlights here. Um, were added. I don't remember seeing those in, in um, Honeycomb. And I think that's about it. I mean, the UE looks better. We have these four little squares at the top here instead of uh, instead of the dots, the squares now. Um, everything runs a lot faster. The Google search and everything is up here at the top. And that is pretty much it. You, you you really want to run ICS now for the main goal of performance. The performance is at least, I mean, um, in my opinion, the performance on the Transformer Prime has jumped like tenfold. Like this thing is, is even faster than before. I didn't even know that was possible. Um, I didn't even think there was going to be that much of an um, upgrade, but it is. It's definitely worth it. Really, really look forward to some um, handsets that, are, that utilize ICS in the future. Um, and this is the, this is the future of Android. I mean, we, we, everyone should have ice and cream sandwich. And if you can get a phone that supports it, um, either through a future update or, um, having it right now, as far as like, uh, the galaxy Nexus or the transformer prime, I would definitely say, get it. ICS is the best Android operating system to date. Um, you guys are really going to like it. Um, I did notice one other thing, the gallery was updated as well. Let me just go through a couple more things. It has this like wall effect, which is really nice. Um, and that's about it. I haven't really seen anything else. You want to note that there is no um, face to unlock in the lock for some reason. I mean, I guess that's okay. Um, they'll probably hack it. Um, Google Talk was updated. Kind of looks a little bit better. And I know I keep saying it, but I think that is it. It comes with Google Music preloaded. I already had it on there, so it came up there. But I really don't think there's any other um, 
improvements. If there's anything in general that you guys want to see, um, I will do another review on the actual browser in a minute just because I'm running um, uh, an extra add-on to it, I'll say. that I got some XDA, and I'm going to do that a little bit separately. But I did notice the browser is a lot faster. I'm actually running the ICS Browser Plus, the second add-on. My camera will zoom in. All right, there you go. And I'll do um, kind of a review of that later on. Um, so if you have any other questions, just shoot me a um, message in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Tech Messenger, and hit us up on Facebook. All right, guys. See you later.